it's Carly, Fairy Godmother here, and today we are making my very favorite oven roasted chicken recipe. Now, what I love about this is that not only do you get the most amazing chicken for all your recipes throughout the week, but then you can take the carcass and throw it in a pot and make a super nourishing and nutrient dense gut healing bone broth. So before you get started, I recommend sourcing a humanely raised chicken. So that's no hormones or antibiotics, pasture raised, fed a diet that's natural to its habitat because not only is this gonna be better tasting at the end of the day, but it's also gonna be more nutrient dense for you as well. So when you get started with your bird, the first thing you wanna do is pat it dry with a paper towel. So once you finish patting it dry with paper towel, you want to add it to a oven roasting baking dish. So first thing, you wanna make sure that you have greased the bottom of the baking dish. So I just have a little bit of ghee here that I'm going to coat the bottom of the baking dish with. And you can use grass-fed butter, um, coconut oil, any kind of healthy fat, it works for this. And this just helps to prevent it from sticking from the bottom of the pan. So we add our chicken to the pan. And then you do the same thing with the chicken. So here I have my ghee and I'm gonna coat the chicken with just a little bit of ghee. And this also helps to have that really nice crispy skin. And then once you have it nicely coated with ghee, I usually take a knife and then I make little incisions throughout the breast of the bird. And then I just insert little tiny pieces of ghee into these incisions. And again, this just really helps to lock in the moisture, keep the chicken from drying out through the baking process. I also do this with my turkey for Thanksgiving and it's delicious. So once you finish coating the bird, you wanna start seasoning it. So I just have a very basic seasoning mixture here. It's just sea salt, black pepper, coriander, paprika, um, a little bit of garlic, and you just rub that all over the bird. And you can just get a very nice basic seasoning, um, but sea salt is the most important. And then from here, you can take fresh herbs or anything that you have on hand and insert it into the chicken as if you were making a turkey. But I really love doing this because I think it adds a ton of flavor. And then if you are going to make a broth afterwards, it just makes that carcass even that much better. Now the chicken's ready for the oven at about 350 degrees for an hour and 20 minutes. Okay, so it's been about an hour and 20 minutes. I think the chicken's ready. Yes, this looks perfect. So it's that nice golden brown color that I was looking for and has that awesome crispy skin. This is gonna be so delicious. So I'm gonna take this back to the kitchen and show you a few things that we can make with this. Now that the chicken is cooled, I'm gonna start removing some of the chicken from the bone. I just cut a large slice down the center of the bird. And then just start removing some of this, which is awesome to have on hand because you can make a bunch of different recipes from oven roasted chicken. I throw this in chicken tacos. I can also put this in my soups. I also have a really amazing chicken Waldorf salad that I love to make with this with homemade mayo and it's super delicious. So once you finish taking all the chicken off the bone, you can take the carcass and put it in a pot on top of your stove. Put some water in there, some carrots, onion, celery, bay leaf, and set it on low for about 24 hours and you have a nutrient-dense, nourishing, and gut-healing bone broth. Hopefully you enjoyed this oven-roasted chicken recipe. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more cooking videos coming soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.